And we are back, folks. Another edition of the Monday Morning Quarterback Film Study with my guy Devin Gardner in the building, breaking it down like few others. You you learn something on Monday Morning Quarterback. Yeah, you do. You learn something. You you get things that you can't get from the regular television broadcast. You don't even got to pay for it. Don't even don't even have for to free. pay for it. This part comes for free. You know why it comes for free, DG? Why, why does it come for free? It comes Sam? for free because we do not own this footage. Mm. We make that clear every single week mm. that we do this for the people. This video, this film is not pro- for profit because we don't own it. And as such, this video is for the entertainment, education, and edification of you, the people. All right? right? Ain't that right? That we make that very clear. We make that very clear. We want to stay legal so we can stay around for the people. Right, DG? Mm-hmm. So, and let me start off first by saying, man, so many people, people come to me like, I, I, it's almost like, man, that's that's my brother over there. You are my brother, but they like they they come to me like, hey, tell DG he's we love him and he's doing so great. My people, it's like you can tell DG that on on Twitter. Yeah, right? I, I look at my tweets. Yeah, he looks at his tweets, yeah. but I I'm and, happy. But hold on, let me be clear about the tweets. <laughs> let me be clear. If you say something that I misconstrue, I'm gonna block you. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I'm just telling you. Haven't you heard it? Don't make it it questionable. Just don't make it questionable. I'm going to block you. I'm going to block you. DG. What? Sometimes sometimes people run afoul. They make mistakes. And they get blocked. Okay. DG. I mean, shouldn't you be lenient? No. I mean, imagine. Imagine if, if it was a prerequisite that you could never violate someone's airspace. If you want to be on a broadcast, you can never violate their airspace, uh, right? Uh, imagine if if Matt the Miz Misler, when he's driving up to Travis City with you, had told Jeff Bile at Bally Sports, oh, man. had told your people over at Fox that this man, he has some... Flatulations. Fat, yeah, yeah, <laughs> man. Well, Matt, but see, they... What is it, flatulation? It, it, you know, you get... This man... In my office, can't control the wind. Look at this candle I'm burning right now. I'm burning this candle. I'm burning this candle right now because this man cannot hold. Listen, man, cannot hold his wind. Everybody out there, you know, this this is hazardous. I have a hazardous work environment. There are laws against this. This, Damn, he just did it again, and he just did it again. That's four times. Since we've been doing this breakdown, me dog, what did you what did you eat? White what did castle, you eat, man? I so, told you I had White Castle. You, everybody at home know what happened. Hey, man, eat White Castle, etiquette, man. office etiquette. We got a bathroom, oh, dog. Man. Hey, <laughs> just so y'all know, just so y'all know, I'm coming in next week. Come on, man, you making with me. with some toilet paper. I'm bringing you some toilet paper because your drawers got to be got to have some problems right now. And I'm bringing some Lysol and some Glade and some potpourri. And we gonna take care of this because cause man, this, something wrong. I'm not doing it on purpose. Dog, you got something. <laughs> hey, dog, you say it, 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 don't, it don't smell no more. It your drawers, smell. I'm telling you, your drawers holding that smell oh, right now. Oh, that smell for sure, but you can't smell it though. The candle is our barrier. This is our barrier. Ain't no barrier. Oh, oh man. man, you stink, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. You don't gotta kick me while I'm down. <laughs> Damn. See, y'all see what I put up with for y'all? Oh, this my man. man. We close. We ain't never been this close, though. He real gassy today. <laughs> I am. It's bad. It is bad. I mean, I don't even want to be here. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in this in my own space is what I'm saying. Charmin, we need sponsors. Charmin, Glade, Lysol. I'm adding y'all right now. I, I We can absolutely use some endorsement money. We had a long money. week. We had a celebrity bowling outing. I had a lot of stuff this week, Sam. Hey. I wanted to I wanted to treat myself to some White Castle, and I'm paying for it, and you is too. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you actually farted on cue, and I wasn't even trying to cue you to fart. What kind of I wasn't is trying that? To cue myself. <laughs> I'm laughing. You keep making me laugh. It, it, one time, even Flat two joints. times, even 12 time, and offenders get... More chances. So, shouldn't you extend the same courtesy to the people? Yeah. Well, I'm no. just saying, I got something for you, DG. I brought some. I brought some. <laughs> see, see this right here. I know we said we not getting any endorsements. This, this, what is, what's this smell right here? This is first frost. 
first frost. Man, can we get to the and, and you know why? You know why we got the first frost? Because hey, I, I'm telling you, ain't nothing frosty coming out of DG today. It's all hot. It's hot. It's hot, DG. So I brought the frost to cool it off, DG, to cool it off, to make sure that the studio is smelling nice and fresh. And then, I know I said Charmin, but DG, look what I got. Look what I got. Angel Soft. Angel, Angel Soft, soft man. Awesome. <laughs> take care of, you, take care of business, you, man. So, you, so you're the worst I'm, person on the planet. You're the so worst person on the planet. I'm ready. It's so glad this isn't a sponsored segment because we will lose all sponsors. Because right, this you're is a not, horrible. This is, see, person. I'm not looking for an Angel Soft endorsement here. I'm just saying I'm prepared for if you have some more issues like you had earlier today. We're covered, man. We're covered because you my guy. I love my man like that. Like I'm, I'm willing to endure. The, the toxic work environment, literally toxic work environment to work with you. Cause you bring, you bring something to the table and we're going to show it today. No disrespect intended to anyone at Fox. Like every time I talk about the Fox people, it's, it's like, I want to see him be bad. I want, I want to see Reggie Bush be great. I want to see Reggie Bush one day be as good as Devin Gardner. Oh my goodness. In the meantime, I want to see Devin Gardner, you know, be out there, be out there, you know, taking care of the, the business. Right. So we yes. got to go fast because Derek, you guys go at like three o'clock, right? You guys go at three o'clock. So we got to go. We got to go. We got to go fast. We gotta let's go. go fast. All right. So DG, All right. let's go ahead and jump right into the telestrations, man. Let's right. jump right into okay, the telestrations. So this first play is, is really, really cool because everybody, for the most part, knows what cover two is, right? And at, the, at its purest form, the basic embryonic stages of cover two, two safeties, they both play half the, halves of the field. Uh, corners, two corners, they play the flats, right? But when you, the older you get in football, the more you learn about coverage and, and the more defenses try to trick you and get to these same coverages but from different places on the field or with dif- different players. So this is this is kind of a simple play that I would go o- overlook, but I think this whole game is a theme of, like, the maturation of, of, of J.J. coming into his own and, and can continuing to develop on all the different things you want to work on and, and getting better. So I think that uh, this was pretty important to note. It was so just is this, a, a, is this is this the the first play in, in uh yeah. first quarter? Yeah, it just it's just a stick route. Nothing uh super amazing. Let me make sure let me pull it up for the people so they can see it. And uh, again, one of the things that really st- sticks out to me in this broadcast maybe more than anyone so far is that the things that happen in the game that will go easily missed by the broadcast. And that's, yeah, that's, yeah. Not, that's not to call them out. Yeah. But, you know, well, you saw some things, Devin, and, and we even saw some things before. It's like, man, they didn't point that out during the game. Yeah, yeah I mean, because, you know, it's, 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 things go fast, right? They go super fast. You can't see everything, but, but we can see everything here because we can rewatch it and all those different things. But this is just uh, stick. You can let it, let, let, let it play. All right. All right. So uh. you got stick route. Tight end and and Ronnie Bell on the out route, right? So this is cover two. So the embryonic stages of cover two, basic, flat, and same over here, corner, flat, half, same over here, half, right? This is day one cover two, hook the curl, hook the curl, hook the curl, right? Day one, this is what cover two looks like. You bring that dog from the field, and they're going to skip the defensive end on the other side, right? So a skip means the defensive end just goes out and plays the flats, right? He skips and, and goes to the flat. And so though that's one of the flat players, right? The other flat player on the other side is going to be the corner, and he's going to use tra- trap technique where Coach Borges has kind of talked about it where the corner, he, he plays the flats, but he has eyes inside and allows the receiver to go outside, right? So the top corner is going to be a flat, and then this corner at the bottom of the screen is going to play half, Right, so he's a retreat corner, but he's playing half the field. And the safety that you see there in the middle between this corner to to this near side and the safety on the hash, he's going to go down and play the hook to curl, which where a linebacker would. And that opposite safety is going to play the other half. Right, so it, it it at the end it shakes out as just regular old cover two, but how they it, got to it, how they got to it is significantly different. Right, and so in cover two you won't have the Ronnie Bell play. Right, you won't have this throw. And what, what, what J.J. sees, he wants to throw the stick, right? So the, the skip player, though, is trying to get to his skip when this play starts, and it won't, it's not allowing uh, the tight end to release freely, right? It's not allowing the to release vertically. So then 
JJ has to change the whole plan. It's like, oh, I can get to the outside route now. I can get to the outside route, and then he hits it on the outside. It's a great catch by Ronnie Bell. But this is just, this is pretty cool, and, and you can kind of see how intricate these defenses can be because everybody knows cover two. But this, you if you looked at this, you wouldn't say that's cover two, right? You would see this cornerback deep. You would say, oh, it's probably cover three or whatever the case may be. But this is a cool way to get to cover two that Indiana used during the early. And this is early. This is really early in the game. All right. So I let it play. All right, you're going to see the defensive end trying to get outside and skip, right? He collisions them, so it messes up the timing, and then he comes outside. So that's good. That's good ball, right? You you kind of – and people say predetermine when you're going to go. You do want to predetermine when to go. You you predetermine, but if something changes, right, you change. And that was a good job of him changing and getting that ball outside to Ronnie Bell. All right, let it play one more time so you can see. Because I want you to comment on the catch, too. I mean, yeah, I mean, we're we going to give Ronnie Bell enough love on this segment, uh, just to be clear. <laughs> we don't have to continue, but everybody can saw, saw that that was an outstanding catch. I mean, Ronnie Bell has been exceptional. He's been a, a safety blanket. He's been a veteran wide receiver, and in, in in, he's done exactly what you would want your veteran wide receiver to do. He's so friendly to catch the ball. It's, it's, it's good stuff. We'll talk about that a little bit more on, on some later plays. Indeed, we will. All right, so let's go. To the next one, G- DG, as we uh, stick with the stick with the plays. And so uh, next on the list, we're still in quarter number one. And, and you yeah. know, we we talk, we point out the good and the bad. Yeah. Good and the bad, right? And so this was one you didn't like. Yeah. So this is, 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 is you can let, just let it play. This is, uh, we're going to have a shallow cross from the tight end, Shoemaker, right there. And then you got uh, like kind of like uh, the flavor of the day seemed like double dig, or you can call that first one by number the number three receiver uh, uh, over, right? But I look at this as double dig, and with a clear out, they ran kind of double dig with an out route on the outside with the two inside receivers. They ran double dig with outside receivers run double. They did it a number of different ways, but for me, it's kind of all the same. O- on this play, somebody bust in the defensive coverage, mm-hmm. right? Because we got the safety at the top of the screen who's going to be the middle guy, right? He's going to play the middle. And then you have a corner who is going to eye the shallow cross and start to chase him at the onset, right? And when he starts to chase him, it opens up the window for Ronnie Bell with no depth. We've talked about depth to the defense, right? With this play, there's no depth to the defense with that corner doing that. Now, some people like they're playing man. Some people like they're not. I'm not I'm not 100% sure. It looks like man, though, because he starts to chase his shallow cross, and, and I don't know if he should have waited or whatever, but I would love for J.J. to see this. Now, obviously, because he had time, right? He had a lot of time. Now, some... You, you, sometimes your coach says, "Hey, get this ball out and let him run with it." Well, for me, I don't, I don't believe Shoemaker is 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 has enough speed to go get the first down, right? At catching that five and 11, go get five, and 11. go get six, right? Third and eleven, catch that five, go get six. I don't think he can just because of the nature of the coverage. He's got a, a guy's chasing him now, a safety, a corner, whoever the case, whoever it is. I don't what think if, he's what get if that it. was Eric Hall? If that's Eric Hall, maybe, right? It just mm. depends on the matchup. Is it because this this is a safety in a corner? Either one of those guys is gonna be chasing him. Right. right? He's gonna chase him, he's gonna clip him down, and you saw what happened, and you're gonna see what happens. But uh I, I would love for JJ to see that and go get more, right? Because he he's shown a propensity to be able to go outside a, a little bit of the framework and say, Hey, I know that this is the framework and he's open, but I'll have this open because of what Indiana did, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. So let it play. You're gonna see it kind of shake out. Um, and I'm gonna tell you when to pause it. Pause it there. At that point, number three, who is on the on that right hash, he can't get back to go get Ronnie Bell, and you can't see it right now. But Ronnie Bell is screaming; and it's gonna be a touchdown, mm-hmm. right? He's wide open across the field. So that that I mean, and you, and you see him panicking. He's he's bailing out. Look. Oh, he is in panic mode. Right. So, but, so not- that's what I'm saying. Was he supposed to be a third player? Was that supposed to be cover three? And they're kind of playing like a little kind of man underneath, right? Or is he actually supposed to be catching, chasing the tight end? And maybe he's like, oh, let me go help out because nobody's going to be over there because the deep over route is so hard to cover. And the the, the DB that was covering Ronnie Bell had outside leverage, right? right. He can't stop this. Yeah. He's going to go and be wide open. Yeah. And so he's in panic mode, um, but the ball's already thrown, right? Because he saw him open right away, but you got a, you got a safety there. Right. right. That safety's running. He's running full speed. He's going to run Shoemaker. Now, that's nothing against Shoemaker. He's a tight end. He's big. He's doing – he's always this guy by 100 pounds almost, right? But, uh, yeah, so, that, I mean, you don't convert on third and 11. And I think if we see that and, and start to pick stuff like that up, now it's even more. Even Like, we've talked about 
his maturation, how he continues to level up and level up and, and, and sure up things. And and this is another way he can continue to level up. Yeah, yeah, DG, you you they gotta take your word for it. Oh, he wide open. He, he wide open. He, you can't see it on this copy on yeah. the all twenty two. You can, but just for a context clue, the ball is out of JJ's the hands. The ball's halfway there. And, and the dude is still his hips wide open. He's still trying to get back. Yeah, he don't even see back. the ball. He don't even see the ball no more, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's so, like, oh my but, God, but I'm about to get beat. I, I wouldn't mark him down for this because Shoemaker is open, right? Get it to right. open guys. But because he had the, the pocket was so clean and, and it was the protection was so sure up, uh, I thought that he could have got to that uh, over. Yeah. But the read does tell you throw the shallow cross. Yeah, just look at look at the at the defender on the hash. Just look at him. Look. I mean, what? Not the defender. He was outside. The he hash. was outside the hash to begin with. The guy that's eyeing. The guy with the eyeballs. The guy with the eyeballs. Watch, Watch him. the guy with the eyeballs and see his reaction. Watch him as he gets to the hash. Right. He, he like sprints oh. to the shallow cross. He sprints to the shallow cross first, and he's like, "Oh, oh. my goodness, he wide open." Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, right. He like, I don't care if you threw that ball. I'm getting back to stop this just in case, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, he's man. wide open. Yeah. Thanks for thank, thank goodness for him. So now I don't got to take our word for it. You can look at his reaction and say, "Oh yeah, he's definitely wide open." All right, let's yeah. uh, keep it moving in this game. And you know, we already talked about in the commentary why there was a difference between the uh, first half and the second half. I mean, yeah. there there, we, there we was went a... in depth with Monday morning quarterback. We don't got to get too much into it, but I mean, it, it was very clear that it was an emotional block. Yeah. I would say. By uh, mo- most all the players, not just you know, not just the offensive players, not just running back, not just quarterback. I think everybody had a, a bit of a mental block with what would have gone down uh, with with Coach Hart. No question, no question, no question. All right, so now we are going to get into another bad play, another one that you didn't like. Still in um, still in quarter number one, Devin. And we're going on to play 17 now. Play 17 mm. on your menu. So, yeah, okay. This is this is another one of those I can understand what's going on here, right? You got uh, Ronnie Bell on the over, right? You remember I said that was kind of the flavor. So now they have double dig, right, with an inside guy doing an hour out, right? Mm-hmm. So he draws back and he wants Ronnie Bell, which I love because you got Eric – uh, not Eric Hall, sorry. I think it's Shoemaker. Mm-hmm. He's clearing the uh, the the play out, right? So he's clearing out, and it's going to allow uh, Ronnie Bell to come across. But Shoemaker starts to get jammed and kind of, and, and it makes it real muddy. Let, let it play through. It makes it real muddy. And so now when you see that, I want to see him go right to the dig. Right, you see that that's that collision is going to stop Ronnie, Ronnie Bell from getting underneath. I want to see him go right to the dig because the dig comes open wide open on on was this? this is another third down, and so I want to get to that next read just because I, I, I understand you should go to Ronnie Bell because he should be coming underneath Shoemaker, but because of the nature of the def- defense, he started to collision him and whatever the case may be. So now you can't have that anymore. The dig is wide open. Just change our feet a little bit, dry the dig right on his face. Right, but he still he goes there, and so it's just muddy, right? It's people all over the place. You don't know is that Shoemaker? I don't know. It's eighteen. I don't know who that is. But, eighteen, I think it's Colston and Love. Okay, so yeah, whoever that is, another tight getting, end. Though he's getting jammed up a little bit, right? He's a tight end, big body. He's getting jammed up, and and it's just super, super muddy. Don't force that in there. That that's a force, right? You got both of those guys. I understand it. And Ronnie Bell should come open, but he can't because of the tight end got kind of getting jammed up. And now it looks like like who are you even throwing to at that point? Mm-hmm. But if you go come off of that and go right to the dig, it's a it's a catch and impossible split the defense. You never know what could happen after that. Absolutely. All right. Uh, as we Proceed continue to give y'all what y'all need. Okay, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. man. I know you you you, you a Roots yeah. fan, man. You, you, yeah. I, every now and then I question your old school hip hop chops, oh, but you you goodness. got them. You got them. I said em. I didn't recognize it. one person. You got them. You swear. You got them. Which one is this one? Probably this third man. down. This is is it is this this is a spot deal, right? Yeah, we can play it through. No, no, this is this is the uh so, the post. So this is th- my my thoughts on this. So what what Joel Joel on the broadcast, he talked about he said that uh one, two, three, four, five, hit the back foot and throw to AJ AJ Henning, right? Number and, three. And that's not wrong. That's and, not wrong. And he drew that's the arrow on the screen. He's that's saying, that's one, the one two, he drew right there. Yeah. That's not wrong at all. You can do that. But let it let our illustration play. And let me tell you what, what the quarterback sees. He sees AJ Henning, okay. 
but a safety gonna drive on him, right? Or safety or linebacker, whoever that is, gonna drive on him. But he also sees that he has his best receiver, his number one target, one on one with so much space, right? Safety's a yard outside of the opposite hash, never gonna get there. If we wanna be the team you wanna be, and I'm talking about Michigan, if Michigan wants to be who they wanna be, you can't turn down touchdown throws or things like that, right? You cannot turn down and, and first you can't allow a defense to play you this way, right? And so for for entire almost entire year last year, defenses were able to play like this just because we would never think about throwing that down there when we only need five. You understand that, mm-hmm. right? And so that that's a great quarterback. He has a plan, and so you might say he's staring it down. Well, he can stare it down because he doesn't need to look anybody off. It's a complete open space, and he's going to throw it on time. But you, if you can see in the middle, we didn't highlight it, but uh, Donovan missed the, 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 the most dangerous, right? So you go most dangerous. He went for the outside guy, and, and the guard could have kind of, or, or the tackle could have kind of fooled him a little bit. Sometimes those tackles got their arms out, and you don't know which guy they're going to take, right? And so maybe he did that. He came off and went to the outside guy, and so you get this guy streaming down the middle, and his arm gets hit. See, he, what well, his arm gets what hit. He, he gets, what his happened, arm DJ? gets hit while he's throwing, so it looks like a terrible throw. Well, uh, in, in Joe's <laughs> defense, it looks like he – it does look like he overthrew number three because the ball was so in between, you know what I mean? Wait, but so he was trying see. to throw this ball to Ronnie Bell for a touchdown, and I agree with it. I the agree with it, but his arm, arm gets got hit, hit. And, the ball, and the ball, you know, flutters or whatever. I mean, you would have But thought- you can see Ronnie Bell with the corner on outside leverage and, and, and so much field, he is going to – I don't know if he's going to run a score. I don't know how fast he is or whatever, but he's going to have a big play, you know. So I, I, mean, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in turning down, especially in this part of the game. I don't believe turning down these big touchdown plays just for you know for a lesser play. I guess. Well, the, the broadcast had had you thinking he overthrew a guy. Where was he going with the football? Well, that's why you got to come to Monday, Monday morning, morning quarterback. quarterback. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. If you, I mean, because I, t- I told you like, yeah. It, it's going fast, right? So you announcer, you you see what you're seeing, whatever case. Maybe you're even looking at something else, whatever. But that's why you come more to more than quarterback because we're gonna tell you, right? I agree. I want this ball thrown to Ronnie Bell, our best receiver, but he's just not, and he's not there because Ronnie Bell doesn't know that he's gonna get pressure because it should be blocked up. You know what I mean? Right. He needed a half more second, and he threw that ball on time, and it would have been a big play. But shoot, I'm playing it again, and um, I didn't have muted, but still, it it. it you, and you for see Devil's what's going advocate, on. advocate, because we didn't talk to JJ, maybe he was trying to th- throw to AJ Henning and his arm got hit still. Like, either way, his arm got hit, and that's well, why I wasn't complete. I right. Think. And you got to stick up for Jay on this. His, his arm got hit, but he could have done something. He, there is something else he could have done. What's I'm going to show you an example of what he could have done, DG. And you kind of talk, talk me through this play because um, I seem to, I seem to, to have a. An example of what you can do when you're when you when your back misses on a oh, whips oh, on a block oh like that. I, I'm just I, I'm just what? Oh, oh I'm just bringing is, okay, a little this something. This is relevant. Up. This is relevant because we're gonna do it today. This, it, it's it's this relevant. Is not even the play. It, it's coming up. It's right. It's it's coming up. I think that was it. Yeah, I guess like you, you you can sort of do like a like a you know side a, a jump, side step jump, jump throw. Hip, yeah, jump you can, hip side. You know. You can you can do that, right? <laughs> what was Fitz doing? Every time I see this now, you start, you got me thinking like Fitz, what were you doing? You gonna get me killed, man? <laughs> That's the only way you can get that ball off, he right? Had to play like this, no? Like so, every week he's getting closer and closer. He had to play like this uh, in this game. We're gonna look at it too. So yeah, but yeah. all right. Jeez. I just I, you I just I, want me to have PTSD. That's no, nah, man. Is. I just had to bring up you know <laughs> the, the, you know a little shine for my man DG. I just had to bring up a little shine for my man. Off. I, st- I can feel it a little bit. Just a little all bit. right. So yeah. we we'll get to the next That's one. Funny. Let's pull up another one uh, because there were mo- this was a maturation game. Yeah. In my yeah. opinion, DG. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. every week we've seen, we've seen JJ take another step. Yeah. Tell me if you agree with that. I mean, he's he's a habitual step taker, is what he is. He's just taking step after step. He won't stop. Uh-uh, uh-uh. All right, <laughs> and, and so now we get to to recognition, right? Mm. So this is spies uh, are often to the detriment of yeah, that's goofy. Of the, and and the thing is, they gonna uh, is is this the spy play? This is the spy. This play. This is spy play. So uh, let's let it play. Let's let it play. They got you know man to man, right? Covered, 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 
back turn covered, back turn covered over there, and a guy ab- about to sa- sack you, right? Mm-hmm. Right, gave him pressure, and so you got a spy barbecue chicken. What are we doing? <laughs> Y'all better get somebody else. And that's what that's the best option that spy, right? That's McCauley or whatever his name McCullough. is. Who's a McCullough. He's an outstanding linebacker, freshman, got mm-hmm. good speed, barbecue chicken. Yeah, barbecue could. chicken. I love the decisive decision to get out right away and go get the first down, right? Go get the first down. Very nice job. Spies cannot uh, you can't allow a spy now. I remember Jalen Smith was my spy. No, that's that's oh, another that's level. Different. That boy was so and That's Jalen Smith before he was... I know. That's weird. That's what Jalen Smith did. did hey, I man. know. You know, That's a Jalen Smith before he had the, the leg injury. Yeah, it's not injury. too many linebackers that you're going to sit and spy J.J. and be able to shoot. It's not me. too many safeties, to be honest. Listen so. to me. I, now, I've seen some impressive things at camp. I remember watching D.G. Mm-hmm. Uh, give it to D.R. Mathis at a camp, Ooh, right? You first you lined up him. a quarterback, then you give lined up a receiver, him. and D.R. was a 4-3, 4-4 guy, right? He, he was oh, running I don't away. Care how fast you he, he, was, he was tugging your jersey. He I remember that. He didn't have a chance. You were impressive. The most impressive camp I'm fa- thing. I'm competition fast. I'm not super, like, 40 well, or just race people fast. I am competition fast. That so. dude, Jalen Smith, was competition fast. Man, he was, he, competition he fast. was video game fast. He was he was He was imagine Whatever you – with your vision of what fast looks like. he was fast. This dude, I went to a camp. I watched him play safety, linebacker, and defensive end at the same camp and dominate every single position. It that was the freakiest was thing nice. I ever seen. That boy was definitely nice. So he was definitely nice. So, but you know, the maturation, maturation, Ma- man to man. I call it the maturation of Jay Z. You know, yeah, yeah, man to man. Yeah, you got everybody with their back turned. Mm-hmm. I know where the first down marker is, and that dude can't catch me. He can't catch I'm me. I'm four or five. I'll run him now. I'll run him. I'll run. That was good. That was a nice play. That was good. Right. So good play. it's not just JJ's maturation, though. Mm-hmm. It's the maturation of the passing game, the chemistry mm-hmm. with the receivers. So yeah. you will remember yeah. this play. Because yeah, it so, was a play that you and Borges argued about. Yeah, we argued about it and whatnot. And 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 this time the defense is a little different on, on the play that happened against Indiana. But it's the same play from a week ago where you get the, the slow play, fake bubble, Right, and it was kind of a miscommunication. Ronnie Bell wanted to go vertical, which I said he's right and he's wrong. I think if you think you can go vertical, you should go vertical. And then uh, JJ thought he was going to stay in the hole, right? And so just a miscommunication, right? A miss. Everybody get that? So it happened again, though, right? Mm-hmm. Same exact play. Let's move on to the next one. Right. Same exact play. Here it is, Indiana. All right. Okay, so just same exact play, right? Same exact play. Fake the bubble, and then you try to get vertical. He makes a play outside the pocket, and Ronnie responds right away, knowing what his quarterback is going to do. I mean, it's 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 day and night almost, right? It's only been one week. It's day and night, and uh, I, I, you'd love to see that maturation of that relationship because it, it's going to be big for Michigan moving forward. Yeah, we're going to show them side by side so you can yeah, sort so of watch Ronnie res- more more focus on Ronnie's response. You saw the action of the quarterback was the same, but how about Ronnie? Look at him find the quarterback. Okay, boom, corners on top. I know I'm not going to be able to get past him, and he starts to come back and work back to the ball. That was a, a very, very nice job. So you see, it's the same, it's the same play they got to. Same it play different. they got to it a little differently, yeah. But that's, I mean, that's a lot of what the what offense is and what Michigan's offense is. A lot of the same plays, different formations, different guys doing different things, right? And it confuses the defense, but it keeps it simple for the offense. Yeah, look at how Ronnie responds on the wheel on the first comes right back. The other one he kept running. Now he knows what I mean, his quarterback a nice wants to throw, do. A, a nice. Nice pocket movement by the quarterback, all that. That's it's all good, but the maturation, the 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 growing with each other, uh, is what I, I think is most important there. All right, so we're gonna continue with this with this maturation theme, DG, as we get to the final illustration. And this is focused on Ronnie as well. This one is yeah. also focused on Ronnie. Yeah, because I mean, this guy one that really knows, stuck out to you. A guy that know a guy that knows ball. A guy that a guy that understands defense. A guy that understands what a quarterback wants. Right, he's been playing football for. I remember young Ronnie, right, Penn State, long time ago. Right, yeah. it's like he's come so far from that, and so he's got shallow cross here. Right, shallow cross. Everybody knows shallow cross, but he sees that he could blow through the zone or he could get friendly with his quarterback because he's wide open. Right, you can see him right there start to get into a chest to the quarterback position, shuffle, but he doesn't stop, right? So some guys will stop, and the quarterback thinks you're going to keep going, right? He just slows down some, gives him his chest, and, and and makes sure that he has a nice, friendly target to throw to, right? The quarterback knows you want the ball when you give him your eyes. Here we go. Eyes, right? Friendly, chest to the chest to the line of scrimmage, a big target for the quarterback. And then this part, right? Stop and look to see where the marker is to make sure you know what you got to get. 
that's next level stuff, man. That is a pro. And and, and if you when he gets to the next level, and he, maybe he plays for the Steelers, Coach Tomlin is gonna have him in that meeting room and talk about his understanding of football because that's next level stuff. Knowing the situation, and and Coach Tomlin's so big on that. Knowing the situation, I mean, most coaches are. But knowing the situation and and making sure you know what 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 you need to get it right Do, in the middle of the game, he looks to the sideline to see where the marker is and then makes sure he gets it. Awesome, and that led to a 99-yard drive for a touchdown that Michigan desperately needed. Right, desperately needed coming out of half. You your your defense gets a stop. It's your first opportunity uh, of the half, and and they came and and it started with that first down. Yeah, man. And then there were some some other a couple more great great plays that we wanted to make sure well this that next we show. one i think is the play of the of the game well not well we aren't quite to that one we aren't quite to that one this is this is earlier in the fourth quarter first where you wanted to show uh this is a as a a play to highlight for uh for JJ. oh yeah this is I, I, well, we went back and forth on yeah. whether we were short or not. But, you know, people just, you know, oh, we don't want to do this. We don't do that. This should be a first down. I, the ball, I think it's when you go out of bounds where the ball is. And, and Ronnie Bell, another veteran move, reaches it out and makes sure it's at the distance that he needs before, right before he gets out of bounds. I don't like that they didn't even review it. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't like that. At least review it yeah, and see. Yeah, I thought you could reach the ball for, for a first yeah. down. Yeah, I don't. I, and I, and I, may, I, maybe, it's, maybe it's when the ball, if the ball touches the ground at a, at a spot, Hey, that's it. I think for talk, sure. Talk to your yeah, talk to your guy Pereira because will, but I think to for me, sure. to me, it's the ball where the ball reaches. That's where the ball Wherever should be the placed, ball is right? When it, when the, when the, when you're out of bounds. But so, what they were what they were saying on one of the broadcasts was the plane on the plane for the ball only counts at the goal guys. line. You're, you're here with me, so I don't know why you even talking about them. <laughs> what are we doing? I just went through an entire game and broke down every single rule. Me and Pereira, that's my guy. Like, I got stop you. listening to other people. That's your problem. Oh, okay? don't 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 listen to Reggie Bush and Joe Clapp. I don't even know if it was them, but yeah, I'm just yeah, saying. There you go. I'm just saying. All right. First of all, this, this focus on the play. The play is amazing, right? He 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 he's completely poised in the pocket. Goes left, goes goes right, goes left, whatever. Spins back, and so this is the thing. It's like the give and take, right? Because these plays are going to be available, and he seems to be very calculated with it. And he's getting more and more comfortable with the more and more reps he gets. So uh, so guys, you don't want to take the stinger out of the B. You do not want to take the stinger out of the B. Mm-hmm. Um, and and that was, that was a very nice play that I think should have been a first down, and that would have moved to another long drive. Yeah. That was a second drive, I think, or whatever. Yeah, in the fourth so, quarter. And yeah. it's important to note that, look, man, he he has not been reckless. Yeah, no, not like, at all. You, you, you see how he's not forcing not the all. ball. Not at all. You know, he had the interception in there, but you said you like that one-on-one I lo- matchup. I love a one-on-one. And, like, again, we already talked about one. I love the one-on-one matchup with your best receiver. Give him a chance to make a play. Right? right, and sometimes it won't work. Right, and you, and you hope that you don't get interception or whatever case may be. But that wasn't a dangerous throw that he made on that interception. That was All a right. throw behind the head of the linebacker to your best player, which is a receiver against the linebacker. I'm taking that message every right. week. But let's end with the crescendo because when I saw this it's live, my play. when I saw this live, I was like, oh man, wow! Yeah, they, now they didn't talk about it on the broadcast, but yeah, I knew didn't. you were gonna see it. Oh, this is my favorite play. Uh, so you see, they're in man to man, right? Man to man. And he has a shallow cross. Now, if they stay like this, he's going to get collision, and this play is going to be dead. He's going to get roughed up at the line of scrimmage, right? And this play is going to be dead. There is a motion attached to this play, and and whatever, why, whatever. I mean, Cornelius early in his drive had dropped the ball, and I, and I talked about confidence and how it can window. And he's probably just, I need to hurry up and make another play. You know what I mean? So he doesn't remember about the motion, but guess who does remember? The 19 year old quarterback. Oh no, you're about to get a touchdown. Scoot out. Scoot out, scoot out, scoot out. Now, look at the defense loosen up. Look at the defense loosen up when he starts the motion. Right? He's tight, loosens up. Now it's a free release. And look what the DB has to do. He has to go around a vertical tight end, and now it's a touchdown. Right? That small detail of just making sure your guys are in the right spot so you can get to this motion and so you can create an opportunity, like that turns into a touchdown in a, in a tie game on the road. Big Ten tie game on the road. The where uh, coaches just kind of passed out earlier in the in the day. Like uh, everybody's going crazy. You got a rusher in your face. Buy a little time. Get the ball off for a touchdown. And then uh, Cornelius Jones atones for that drop early in this drive right away and gets his confidence back now. Right, I, that those are things that are, are overlooked and can be overlooked. But that that's next level stuff. Life happens during games. 
outside of the games, obviously, as we learned, life happens. And if you have somebody that has poise with no ego at the quarterback position and can and can be in the moment, right? You, he talks about how much he meditates and different things like that. He is in the moment. When you see stuff like that with all the stuff going on, tie game, everybody's going crazy. Oh, my goodness, Indiana's going to get Michigan. The wherewithal on a 99-yard drive. This is a long drive, right? To still be locked in and say, no, 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 you got to go. And he does it with with intensity and, and to make sure it's done because, you know, you got to play clock. You got other stuff to go or that goes along with it. We got to hurry up and get you out there because we need time to motion you so it can be loose and so you can go get a touchdown and you can get all your confidence back and you can be the man. And then he made another play later on. We're going to show it. Uh, that was outstanding. Uh, so if that play doesn't happen, or he moves him in and, and, he, and he motions him down, gives, gets him this touchdown. If that play doesn't happen, I don't think this next play is going to work. I don't think it's going to happen. Look at this catch. And obviously, I think it's you showed the play of me getting hit. Here's J.J. taking his, right? Not a great throw, right? But you already looked out for him. Now he's going to look out for you. Boom. Look right. at that. Oh, my goodness. Couldn't believe he caught it. Look at this. You think that play is made if he doesn't get that touchdown and starts to feel a little better about himself? Right, mm-hmm. and and the thing is, like I said, it's not a great ball. I mean, JJ got destroyed. Yeah, it was yeah. rough. He got destroyed pretty good, but he still gets the ball and is not dangerous or anything. And and because I I helped you, you helped me. I mean, the greatest team sport I've created. It's great. I mean, that was awesome. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. So it's it's levels. It's levels to everything, right? It's just, it's not just out here throwing passes, playing football, right? It's different levels that I think that uh, you know, like Mortal Kombat and all that. Right? It's levels to everything. Yeah, well, I, I hope that this film study dispels any notion about this not being a step forward for for JJ McCarthy. Right, people say it's not a step forward. I mean, it's uh, this this just shows some of the flaws in the offense and the, and the play calling and uh, a bunch of different criticisms. On the road, Big Ten game, 30 to 10. Where right. where, Got it. where you, your coach <laughs> collapses in, I, I don't in the first think, half. I don't think people understand how hard it is to win on the road in, in, wow. the, Big, in, in the Big Ten. So I'm going to give you three. Indiana's going to be a good team soon. I, I'm going to give you three examples as we get out of here. We talked about him needing to mature in his check downs. He, he does he, that. He, he's done that. We talked about how he needed to, you know, on that 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 looky, right? When when you throw the look, we saw from one week to the next, he got better at that. And now you see the chemistry with his receivers. You see them get on the same page on that wheel. Mm-hmm. You're seeing growth week after week. Watch, and we'll talk about this with Borges. Him hit the hit the uh, hit the dig on the bingo cross against mm-hmm. zone. That's not something that we saw a lot in the past. So you're seeing layers and levels with J.J. At, at the quarterback position for Michigan, that is only going to make this team tougher to stop as they get deeper in the season, D.G. Yeah, without question. I mean, it's been fun to watch. It's fun to break down. Uh, you know, it, I wish we could do every single play because, you know, it's so much stuff on every single play, but we kind of just pick plays out. I remember, we were doing every throw, but that was when there was a competition. Now that he, he's the unquestioned quarterback at this point, like we just we just take kind of like we did last year, and, you know, we take – good and bad and, and kind of try to make sense and tell the story of the game and and some of this some i'm just telling you you don't even have to watch the game sometimes right just come here and we're gonna get you the stuff you need we're gonna I'm get you right you, you know how you know why we're gonna get you right because we do this for you the people that's what yeah. this broadcast is about it's not for profit there's no there's no sponsorship there's no monetization because we don't own this footage and so as such, we do it for the education, the entertainment, and edification of you, the people. But you can support us in other ways. You can like this video. You can subscribe to the channel. That way you will get a notification every time we put up a video. You can also like and subscribe to us on our podcast mm-hmm. channel as well. Google, Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, you name it. Of course, you can always find us over on the MichiganInsider.com. And right now, got a special going on, $1.00. Get you two months. One dollar gets you cheap. two months. You cannot beat it. Great value. Insider info and intel over on the MichiganInsider.com. Access to all these sites on the 24-7 Sports Network. Any team sites you want to go to. And then, of course, once you become a full-paying member after the two months, you also get a subscription for to Paramount Plus included in the cost of your 24-7 Sports uh, subscription. You cannot beat it over on the MichiganInsider.com. Sounds like a pretty good deal. So that is going to do it for us folks here on another edition of the Monday Morning Quarterback Film Study. We'll see you next week after Penn State.